I came all the way out to the US Embassy in West London to have an interview to get a visa approved. Uh, basically, I'm going to Australia and my plane stops in the US on the way there and it's quite a long gap between the two planes so I thought I'd just go and explore. Applied for a visa, went to the interview and um, it didn't go well. I was, I was so like, I'm so baffled. It's airport style security, whatever. I woke up quite late actually, but I got there in time. Um, 8 a.m. appointment, had to leave at like half six. Um, <laughs> I got there, went upstairs, there's two interviews, you've got to wait in the waiting room and then you just, literally just like a counter, like a bank or a post office. It looks a bit like that, except like glass, you know, you just go in a little, little compartment. You wait for your number to be called and you go, it's basically like a bank. Um, yeah, there's two interviews, went to the first interview. Um, you know, the, the, the guy seemed all right with it. Um, he, he said, why didn't you apply for an ESTA? An ESTA is like a visa waiver for British citizens. I did not know about that until two days ago. And I literally, I was, I was honest, I said that. But up until that point, things seemed to be fine. Waited for my second interview, got to my second interview and uh, she was, I, I don't think she believed me when she's when I said my plane lands in the US on the way to Australia. I want to explore for a few hours. That's literally what I want to do, right? <laughs> they couldn't they couldn't approve of it. Apparently, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I came out here for nothing. So uh, my apparently I can reapply, but I don't see the point of reapplying right now. Like, what what, what what's the point of it? Um, but I'm gonna look into that Esther thing. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to change my flights, which will cost a few a bit more, but it's still early enough to change the flights. I, I'm pretty sure I can. So that's the only other option because I thought I was going to get this visa. Apparently not. Um, so we'll see. I'm gonna see about the Esther because apparently that's an easy way to do it. No interview required, just all digital. So. Let me see if that's uh, approved. Missing out 1 a.m. last night, printing off my flight confirmation, bank account details, address details, etc. Um, and still that was to no avail. Um, yeah, if you want to pause and read that, <laughs> that's, that's up to you. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'd, I had proof I was doing what I was going to do, but it is what it is. I was working till 10 last night and then I spent, I didn't I get, get to bed until 2 a.m go up at 6 a.m. which is oversleeping actually and uh, now I've got to work till 10. When I go up and work I'm just gonna fall asleep completely <laughs> I can tell. Okay, so long story short which might still be long um, you need a visa or an ESTA to even transit through the US. My flight plan was to stop in the US and then go to Australia from there even to stay in the airport you need authorization. I got rejected for both and that's partly because I didn't know what the ESTA was. I wish I knew, like if I just knew, none of this would have happened. I would not have had to apply for visa, but I applied for the visa, the interview didn't go well. And because that got denied, I think my ESTA got denied. I I did I called the ESTA, uh, I forgot what their, uh, I think it's CBP, in the US, I called the US. Um, and they said they couldn't disclose the reason why. And you have to call the US Embassy in London. I still have to do that, but, I'm going to call them, not because of that, I'm going to call them to ask if I can reapply, uh, if I can like prove that I'm like, like I've been at the same job for two years. You know, I, I got to prove that I can come home. I got to prove that I am going to come home. That's the whole point of this non-immigrant visa. You got to prove that you're going to come back because apparently they have a lot of cases of people going there and staying. United Airlines will not give a cash refund, um, only credit refund. And I got until March 30th next year to claim that. I changed flights to Australia, so that's sorted. I'm not going to US airline, I'm going through a different airline to Melbourne. I don't need visas for the countries I'm stopping in, so that's good. So that, that, that's all well and good. But for the US thing, I have got flight credits. You know, I spent money on those flights. Um, so I'm hoping to get a visa by then, get approved, and then I can book a holiday to the US next year hopefully i do want to go to wrestlemania next year in la if i can get tickets to that if i can get a visa sorted by then that would be incredible so i gotta start uh calling them first for info and then i'm gonna apply just to see because like i don't know if it's if it's safe to reapply straight away 
Um, so I'm just gonna like double check with them. Um, but yeah, uh, if you get an update on this, it will be because I got another interview. Uh, but until then, <laughs> everything's been denied and uh, a lot of it is my fault. So it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> hopefully I can get it sorted though, because I'd love to visit LA, San Francisco, Golden Gate Bridge, love to see that. Las Vegas, uh, the Grand Canyon, I'd love to go there. <laughs> Uh, there's the, most of those things are near the west coast so I've, I've been to New York so that's off the, that's ticked off the list I don't know where else I'd want to go in the US but mainly those areas that I mentioned I'd love to go to those places before the, the next few years so uh, that'd be great so hopefully I can sort this out because I would very much love to explore the world and I feel like it might be a good a good time to go like now like the next few years <laughs> before I start to think about other things in life. But uh, yeah, uh, that's it from me, signing out. Hopefully uh, things are looking better when uh, I next update you on this.